Okay, so far tonight um, at the event we're having, I've picked up on, um, in the auditorium, there's a girl that I felt like I needed to walk up and down the aisle. I felt like it was at her graduation, but I didn't see her wearing a cap and gown. She was dressed in probably late 40s clothing. Um, I felt like her name was Peggy. Um, she kept giving me a really intense headache pain. And I felt like that was the highlight of her life, she said, was graduation. And soon after that, I felt like she had passed of something with the head, um, either some trauma or maybe like a brain you know, tumor or something like that. She stayed with me for a little bit and she kind of blocked. I tried to talk to her about what she needed to do to leave. I'm not sure if she did or not, you know, in, in order to cross. Um, she seems to be very, um, very sad that, you know, that her life stopped there. Um, I, I think she was aware that she had passed, but I don't feel like she was a person that visited here. I feel like that she was someone that was sort of stuck in that time frame. Um, on stage, center stage, um, one, of the, uh, one, of the, one of the students actually picked up um, electricity, and at the same time I was getting an older woman who was standing on the stage and she had her hands behind her back like that, and she was tapping on the microphone when the ghost uh, radar picked up electricity, and she was like asking if it was on. Um, she uh, was uh, going to sing the Star Spangled Banner, so, um, but I never really, she got out a couple lines and then, then I, it would stop. Turn the ghost box on, and then it said, also, um, in up in the balcony of the auditorium, there was a um, a man that was was standing um, in the door. He was like a hall monitor. It seemed like to be a teacher. He had a dark uh, suit on, a uh, tall man with um, tortoise shell glasses, um, and he was just sort of like monitoring the kids. Um, he kind of leaned over on the on the armrest of the of the, there was a row of boys in the back and he kind of like you know like leaning over there like you know he was there he was watching them um outside in the in the vestibule of the val balcony of the upper area where the little windows are there were three girls that were looking out that window at the flagpole and there were some boys that were running something up the flagpole it felt like it was a some sort of tradition it kind of felt like underwear but i couldn't really see what it was so I think they were running that up the flagpole and they were giggling and laughing. Um, and then when we got inside, um, the ghost box uh, had the words uh, trouble and corset.